What? <laughs> no live view modes? Wow. Film. Stay tuned. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Will Moore again, your host with Somewhere in America. And on today, as promised, I am doing a little street photography today with film. So, um, remember on last week, guys, just want to kind of update you. If you didn't see last week's episode, um, it was a great episode, man, showing um, street photography of other photographers. And uh, a shout out to uh, Frankie Valero, who won. Uh, my book, Can I Do It My Way? Also, here's another update. My new book is now out. It is called Faces and Shades of Grey. You don't want to miss it. You guys will get the information at the end of the podcast, okay? And don't forget to subscribe as well at the end of the podcast. But today, I'm talking about film. And um, you saw that little, little thing I did in the beginning where I took the picture and the image. And I told you guys that I was going to be actually going out and doing some street photography with film. Now, one of the things that I really, really love about shooting with a film camera um, is that it requires you to actually think. Now you think about it, 24 exposures, hmm, you might want to try to get it right, okay? There is no live view mode or LCD screen back here where you can actually check and maybe go ahead and delete. So you don't have any of those kind of things. So what you have to do is that you actually have to compose your shot, think about what you're doing, look at all your settings, make sure that everything is right. And I'm shooting with a Minolta SRT 202. I told you this camera came out like 2000, I mean not 2000, 1975. So you might want to really, really think about what you're doing before you do it, okay? Um, one of the things also too I love about a film camera, all of your lenses, everything you do is all manual. I'm looking down the street because I'm catching some good scenes going by. Everything is all manual. So it requires you to really, really think about what you want to do before you actually shoot it. And also too, you want to go ahead and um, um, definitely want to be kind of fast with it, okay? Now it's perfect because I got a 58 millimeter lens here. I also have a 28 millimeter lens that's a good uh, wide angle. This right here will allow me to go ahead and go ahead and pretty much shoot real fast. Now, on this particular camera right here, you guys can see. I'm gonna come a little closer. Um, uh, let me get right here. Okay, you can see that I can go ahead and do all my settings. This takes me all the way down to one um, f 1.4 and go all the way up to f uh, f 16. So. I'm gonna go on, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on F, probably gonna do on F4. I'm gonna go to F4. Um, actually, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go to F8 because I want it to be fast and I want, it to, I want everything to move real quick. I'm gonna do F8 and I'm going to, let me see. Today, and see one of the great things about this camera, it was, which was revolutionary during that time, you look through the viewfinder they have this little ring and this little hoop. Now, under the bottom here, there's only a battery is only used on this camera for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to go ahead so that you can meter inside the camera to make sure that every one of your shots are not overexposed or underexposed. So, I got this on. I'm looking in there, I can see in the viewfinder that I got F8. And also, right now, currently it's at one five, it's, it's at 500 of a second, and I'm at ISO uh, 100. So I'm gonna take the ISO up to 200, and I'm gonna look in the viewfinder, and I'm gonna make sure that my hoop, that the, the little line, and the little hoop right there is lined up. So now it's showing me that everything is properly exposed at F8, okay? So I'm gonna get F8 because I want everything to be like pretty much start getting F. Like I tell you before, you start F8, you start you got start going above F8, you start getting everything in the focus. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna walk down here and I'm gonna see uh, what I can capture and see what kind of images I get today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this particular segment. So uh, let's go ahead and go on down the street. I hear some guys over there that are actually working on some stuff or some doing some construction work. 
I know I get some good images across the street. So I'll talk with y'all guys in just a hot segment coming up. So as you can see guys, they're over there right now and they're working. This is a great shot right here. All right, now, I want to maybe check my metering again because I've walked out of the shade and into the sun. So I told you guys that this thing is metered by the battery. So let me go ahead and check my metering right quick. All right, so guys, hey, I checked my metering and everything was fine. Got a good shot right here. Now one of the hard things that I find out with a film camera is that, you know, when you're a one man show, you gotta try to focus as well as look. So you wanna kinda try to pre-focus a little bit. So what I do is I use my little finger here. Now this is pretty cool right over here. Put this on split screen so you can see it. Oh, this has gotta be a great shot right here. Let me go ahead and take this one. Pretty good so far. I don't know. Also, one of the things that I love about that I love about um, shooting with film is that you don't know what you got until you after you develop it. So all these little items in here, like all this, this, all these little items right here, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can go ahead and grab a few shots of this. I'll talk with y'all in a second. Hey guys, I'm right here on this particular block and I'm digging how I like the urban landscape here with the uh, fire escape and um, there's just a lot of things going on in the city right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots right here. for like maybe a, a little bit, a little bit of time, and I've gotten some kind of sort of, kind of mediocre, pretty good shots. Um, I see one right across the street here. I need to go ahead and take that real quick. <laughs> Hope it wasn't focused. <laughs> so anyway, I was just stopping by my friend, uh, one of my barbers right there, man. And uh, one of the barbers, man, that I had actually did some design work for and I finally found him man I know where he's at now even though I actually ball my head all the time I don't really need it but uh, it's good to know where he had if I decide I want to get a different type of cut so uh, anyway um, just looking for some more interesting things to shoot trying to frame up some shots um, Somewhere in America, film photography, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. I love shooting with it. Hey, had a real good time. It's only 24 exposures. <laughs> One thing about it, it lets you know when to start and when to stop, okay? Unless you got some more film on hand with you, and I didn't bring my other film with me. But anyway, I got enough shots that I wanted to do. I just wanted to test out, go do a little street photography with film. Hey, I really enjoyed it. It's real cool, man. Um, only thing I don't like about shooting with uh, a film camera is uh, it makes a lot of noise to click you know you hear that but hey I can live with it no big deal that's where it was done back in the day hey um, 58 millimeter lens I love it it's a great lens 
allows me to get up close, sometimes too close. I uh, hope y'all like all the images that you just saw and even some of the images that I didn't shoot around here, but they're pretty cool images, man. Hey, uh, tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like, as you guys always do. But uh, other than that, don't forget to subscribe. Check out last week's episode, man, of some great uh, street photographers, man. And I'm telling you, they, they're out there doing their thing, and I'm just really, really digging them. So uh, other than that, um, I'll talk with y'all later. God bless. Until next week, hey, can't say nothing nice. Stick a shoe in your mouth and do what? Keep it moving. God bless y'all.